Oh my god, do you guys even know, do you even know what day it is? We're getting a new truck today. Bulls are getting a new truck. This is the big secret, guys. I actually feed them treats to get them excited for the vlog. It's all, it's all smoke and mirrors. It is going to be an awesome day, guys. We are getting a new truck. I can tell Piggy's excited. You have your keys? I don't know. They have the only thing on the island. Oh, on the chair. Yeah, okay. Got him. The only thing on the island is used Chipotle. Don't know anything about that. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you all are having a great day as always. This is going to be an awesome day. I'm so excited because I woke up at like 8.45 and it was raining and horrible. And I was like, well, you know, it's supposed to rain all day. I might as well go get the truck and just get it over with. But then I was like, well, there is a little window at around two where it was gonna be sunny and I, I did wait and now it's sunny out. So we, we actually have a nice day to pick up the 2020 Duramax and it's not raining like it was in the video from last night. If you didn't see it, that was kind of like my initial reaction and this is going to be, so you're not getting my first initial reaction upon seeing it. That was the first time that I saw it. I've already seen it now for this upload, but this is going to be actually taking it home in the first uh, drive. Thank you to Frenchie's Bakery for taking me there for the delivery and we'll get her uh, impressions as well. Open one more little thing before we go. I do want to tell you this is the last day, literally the last day, a little bit over 24 hours left to enter to win that Jeep Gladiator right there. My 2020 Jeep Gladiator lifted up. It's got awesome tires on, 37 inch tires, black rhino wheels, Fab 4 bumpers, uh, fenders coming to 9,500 pound winch. We do have a light bar for it and LED headlights. It's awesome. It is the ultimate do anything and everything vehicle. All you got to do is go to InShaneDesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is double entries. It's worth two entries until the giveaway is over. Again, InShaneDesigns.com. Don't miss out. Only 24, a little bit over 24 hours left when this upload goes live. And uh, the link is down below. And that's it. And then you won't have to hear me ever do another Jeep merch plug again. I'm really so excited. This is so exciting. I, I can't freaking wait. I'm in a great mood. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. It's more of a big deal than like a car because I go through, I think I said this in, in the previous upload, but I go through cars pretty quick. You know, most YouTube, YouTube channels do go through, car YouTube channels go through cars pretty quick because you're always getting the new thing and doing a new build. Uh, but the truck for me is like my old truck, my 2005. It's going to be a daily and part of the family. You know, I've had my old truck for almost five years and uh, this one's gonna be the same. So it's a, it's a long-term commitment. It's my new daily and uh, I'm just really, really happy about it. We're gonna get going here in a second. As soon as she's done, I don't know what she's doing in there. It's taking forever. I actually wanted a new diesel truck for my entire life since I was like 15. And uh, then when I finally saved up enough money, I got my 05 and that was a dream come true. And you know, I've bought like a lot of cars. I could have gotten one, but it just never really felt right until the 2020s came out and now I'm all about it. Pig's coming? Obviously. Ooh. Oh, hey Pig. Piggy, what are you doing? You're ready. I am ready. I can't wait. This is a new truck for all of us, really. It's, it's for crazy. all of us. New family member coming. I don't look all that excited, I have to say. Look a little sleepy. What'd you get for Christmas, babe? Got my first ever Apple Watch. You like it so far? It's really cool. <laughs> there are some things where it kind of overlaps with what you already use your phone for, so you don't need it if you have your if you have your phone all the time. But you can also call on it, which is that's really cool. really nice. Yeah, you don't have to get out your phone, so you can still be like you know when somebody calls you, you have to stop whatever you're doing uh, with the Apple Watch. You can just continue on, which is cool. So it's it's neat. I'm glad you like it so far. Well, I was in the kitchen yesterday, and my phone was in the bedroom. Bobby called me and I was able to answer it on here and I was still doing stuff while I was talking and he said it sounds clearer than an iPhone. Yeah, which it's, is It's the coolest, really most convenient nice. thing. So then you can hold pig and talk on the phone. Yes. To get real, boys. It's about to get real. Seeing it yesterday was, was fun, but today it's really mine. Like, I can take it home and that's it. So, <laughs> what is she doing? A lift kit I have lined up that I, I can't wait to tell you guys about the bumpers I already have, um, the wheels I ordered, like I, there's so much cool stuff that's about to happen in 2020. 2020 is gonna be a great year uh, for the channel and trucks. I'm super hyper. I'm not usually this hyper. I'm kind of like a, a more of a mellow person, yeah, but- Very hyper. I'm very hyper right now. You haven't seen it yet, babe. No. It's pretty exciting. It's more exciting than a car. I think that's it, sitting out front right there. That's gotta be it. I was thinking that. That's it. <laughs> 
that is it. Oh, oh my man. gosh, babe. This is crazy. Isn't this exciting? There it is. Oh my god. Like, that does not look like your truck. <laughs> it's freaking massive is what it is. Oh my, oh god. my god. It's so cool. It's so pretty. I can't you believe you're gonna drive that around. Oh yeah, you already know. We got there's so many cool plans for it too. Wow, that's so nice. Oh my god. Ew, this is so weird. I can't picture you driving this. I know. I'm well, just so used to like my old truck. Know. It's been years. I've been driving that thing around for like five years. There she is. Beautiful. Um, so I guess I won't really, if you want to see me kind of go over it a little bit, you can check out that upload. I won't go over too much because it's like, the, it's kind of, the, I'd be saying the same thing. Um, but I will be making a full in-depth video about every option and you know, what the price was and all that stuff that, that will be coming. So, uh, that upload it will be up shortly. I'll be doing that, but there she is. Freaking beautiful, beautiful. That's pig's new truck That's too. Truck baby. She doesn't care. <laughs> it's super. Wait, do you see it, babe? There's so much space. Oh, <laughs> she is beautiful. Oh, we don't have the keys. Beaver's got the keys. These trucks are still a little controversial, but give it like two years and everyone will love them. People said the exact same thing when the 2008 came out and then the 2014 and the 20. Uh, 15 and 17 like for every restyle people say the same stuff and then people get used to it if You don't like these yet. You will get used to them, especially when you see them like built up People are gonna love them like having a new truck is the dream for me because I can take care of it from day one I can literally start taking care of it from day one. No rust. This truck will never have rust on it for its entire life Oh my god. All right, let's go. Let's go get do the paperwork. I guess wow look at all the vets in here What's up, bud? You guys got all the vets inside. Yep, I, will, I like it. This is the last of them. This is the last of the new C7s. Well, if you guys want one, now's the t well. This is the only time. <laughs> you just like you sit in your office. Here comes a dog. He's totally silent. We didn't say hi or anything. Now, Beaver, I, I am a little upset, dude. Why? Why isn't that red bow on my truck? Well, you're early. I wasn't expecting it to the clock, like you said. <laughs> good, man. How are you? Dude, busy, busy, busy. Good, good. Well, I'll take it and get out of your hair, bud. Don't worry. Here we go. Here we go, boys. This is what you got to do every time you buy a vehicle. It's a thousand papers. It really gets old. Uh, it's not going to be bad. First world problems. That's it. Hey, wow. We get to go so, to Costco. Shopping spree. Well, luckily, yes. Costco today. Look at that. Yeah, shopping spree. Well, we won't have it. Will we have it in time for today? Yeah. No. Well, well, whatever. We don't, we don't need it today. We're only buying sandwiches. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, right. 2020 D Max paperwork. Thank you, bud. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, bud. Holy you bought a truck too. Yeah, truck day. Up. That's a delivery. That's a delivery. That's a delivery. Holy that's crap, dude! Did. You weren't lying. You are busy. It's crazy. Crazy. Well, that's it, boys. We are now the official owners of the 2020 Duramax. I'll leave that on until you take bumpers the coming off, off soon. But yeah, that will that could stay on until. It's just double side tape. I want. <laughs> oh really? I put that on for you. Okay. For you. Yeah, it's better there. there All right, go. I'm a fan. I'm down. <laughs> Freezing. Let's go. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, I am ready to rock and roll. Oh my God, it's brand new. Yeah, I'm it's... I do have to go now. All right, no problem, buddy. I'll talk to you. Dude, no worries. Put it in first. Yep, yep. Hop on in. All right. Fired up. Show us. Show us what we're doing. Ask for Chad. You too. Yeah. All right. I'm just. I'm in training. Okay. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, in training. I know oh, you just got the job. So I idle. Like it. So, enjoy your new truck. Sir. Thanks, Chad. Yep. Yeah, Oh my gosh, what do you want to know here? What, what do we What do I gotta know? do? I guess, well, I, I think I'm pretty good. I don't know, what do you, give me the normal rundown like I'm just some regular person. You okay, all buttons. right. So, I mean, you know how you work all your power windows. What does four mean? What does four mean? Not sure. Yep, there you go. Parking sensors here. Yep. Okay, my Chevrolet. You got it. Should get a pin there. Pair. Three has a turbocharged six cylinder because of perfect. Should. I like all my cars to have all my vehicles to have like a more of a sports car driving position. So like seat lower, close to the wheel, wheel up high. This is like perfect. Okay. And uh, with that being said, here we go. The first drive. I'm putting the truck in drive right now. And that's it. We're rolling in the new 2020 Duramax. I hope you guys are excited. I, if you're even like 10% as excited as I am, then you're in good shape because I am just like 
unbelievably hype about this. It feels big, but really quick. When I drove a 2020 for the first time, um, like two months ago and I filmed it, it was the black one they had. It like, it felt really smooth, really quick. And that's how this one feels. I mean, they have an immense amount of power. They really do, 900 and something pound feet of torque. And really, when you're driving around town, you feel the torque. That's what you drive. You really you feel torque more than power, um, especially with with the way you're going to drive a truck. And you know, 900 and something pound feet is ridiculous. All the new trucks, um, the Ford, the Dodge, and the Chevy, all the new diesels have such incredible torque. It's unreal. Uh, to think from the from the factory you have 900 more than 900 pound feet is just insane but it feels really smooth the trans feels good i'm pretty sure this is a 10 speed trans i think it's an allison 10 speed uh transmission it might be an eight i feel like i think it's a 10 though and it feels really good surprisingly I doubt it's going to come through on camera, but you can actually hear the engine pretty good, which I love. I mean, I was kind of bummed out because all the new trucks have so much uh, emission stuff and sound deadening and like, you know, nobody wants to hear a car for some reason, but I really like to hear it. And you can very much hear the diesel sound in this, which again, I really like. Let's see if I can, if you can hear it a little bit. Yeah, that trans is really smooth. Um, so first impressions, the, the truck is really comfortable. Um, visibility is great. These windows go really far down, so it's very easy to see. And surprisingly, what's really great to me, and one thing that really is surprising, even though I just, as I just said, my seat is kind of low, I can see over the hood really easily. It's really surprising how good the visibility is over the hood because you look at the front of these trucks and they're like so freaking massive um, but that does not translate to less visibility inside that's really cool kind of like I'll try to hold the GoPro this is like my view right here what I can see um, so it's really nice the mirrors are good a little bit more you can tell right away like the old truck I'm used to the mirror coming off here so they're a little bit more down and forward but the visibility you get is nice I love the fact that Chevy's have the split mirror I think Ford does that now too where you have a top portion and a little bottom portion it makes driving so much easier and parking especially I do have to adjust that one on the bottom really good power I'm not I'm like 40 I'm like probably 40 or 50 percent throttle right now and it freaking moves <laughs> I mean we're doing 86 miles an hour already do, trying to do 86 in my old truck would be like that would be like all it's got is about 95 to 100 miles an hour this thing is there in a heartbeat really smooth the sunroof letting in that natural light you can, re the visibility really is not, I tell you, that's the big thing. This actually has better visibility than the old truck, even though it's much bigger and, and wider and, you know, there's a lot more going on. The Having the window line so low is really nice. You can easily see, so when this is lifted up, which it's, which it's gonna be, uh, you can see a car next to you really easily and that's huge. I really, I really, I'm really glad I bought one of these and, and I'm glad I waited for a 2020 because there's so many it's little things like that that i feel like were so much improved uh, for this year for the new body style of trucks the whole new the whole new truck it's not just the body it's yeah, everything is new and uh i really really am enjoying it so far super kind i feel right at home don't feel like i have to get used to this i don't feel like you know there's some things that i'll learn over time i i feel right at home right away which is just, it's something, you can't really put a price on it. Like it feels so natural. <laughs> I can't, I really can't believe this is my truck. This is my brand new diesel truck, 26 miles on it. I can't believe, I've owned my whole, like I said, my, my whole life really, since I became like a young adult, 14, 15, and I got into trucks, I wanted a new diesel truck. And now I, I have one, <laughs> it's just, it's crazy, such a big step up. You know, I've had a lot of cars. I've had Corvettes and McLarens, um, but the whole time I've been driving my 2005 truck and I've never felt like I needed, you know, like a luxury truck. I never felt like, you know, I never once felt like, oh, now I'm too good for this old truck. Like I, I need more luxury and features. Like I never felt that way. I love, still love my old, my old truck. 
and that's why I'm keeping it. But it, this is really, really nice. It is really nice to have all this stuff. A lot of storage, the, the extra storage space is really nice. Having a huge cab is really gonna make a difference in our lives because we have three dogs now. So we go on vacation, we got three dogs, a lot of stuff. You, know, you use up the space in that uh, extended cab quite a bit. This one, we have a ton of room. You get the blind spot warning on the mirror. That's great. <laughs> wow, I love it, I love it. She is back home and I'm in love, I'm in love. Uh, the trip home was awesome in every way. It's so quiet, so smooth, comfortable. The power is insane. I, uh, I passed a uh, Amazon van who was cruising in the left lane and I got on it just a little bit and it's so fast. Like it really is like actually properly quick. What do you think? I see you over there. Like it's it's actually really quick. I am really excited about this. What do you think? I Pretty, know, right? I, I saw it a little bit online. Uh-huh. Looking at it in person, that is gorgeous. She looks good. Whoa, we got confetti. There you go. 2020, we're doing it right. Mike Truckerama. That's what I'm starting to see yeah, it's here. Pretty, it's pretty bad, pretty I know. Bad. Don't worry. Some of them are going to, we're going to get rid of some of them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. They made some really nice. Some yeah, nice step. You got the step. It's got the, uh, you know, you just press the button for the. Oh, wow. Oh, we're fancy now, bud. Oh, man, you got it going Oh, we're stepping on. up. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> got the two next to one another, the OG and the new 2020. And uh, I did that so you guys could see how massive the new truck is. Now, keep in mind, that is on a 10 to 12 inch lift uh, at right about like 11 on 37s. Uh, a huge, a huge uh, leaf springs in the back, like a eight inch lift in the back. Again, 10 to 12 up front with a off-road bumper that leaves like the whole front end exposed and really the new truck is not that much smaller i mean it is huge if you if you look next to if you come over here i mean it, it pretty much hides <laughs> that truck entirely i mean it's just massive and this is again really forward leaning it's factory so the front end sits a lot lower than the back even this with like a little a little leveling kit that would bring the nose up a couple inches it would be i mean not that far off you look at the hood line here it's not that big of a difference even the mirrors like from the top of this one to the top of this one is only about you know probably i'd say like you know eight inches difference um it's pretty incredible the bed really shows it too because when you look the bed of the truck isn't that much isn't really that much different and that, again that's like one of the biggest this is really kind of the biggest lift you will see driving around on one of these older trucks once in a while you'll see like well up here i should say in the south you'll see a lot of like 18 to 20 inch kits uh which is you know that's just insanely massive uh, but this is a pretty a 10 to 12 inch kit on 37s um, like wide 37s that's a pretty big lift kit and uh, you, you don't really see that. Like when I drive around, this thing is pretty much the biggest one around here. You don't, see, you don't really see a whole lot that's, that's much taller than this truck. And these new ones are just enormous. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think of the 2020. Take care and have a great night, guys.